Something that has come to irk me much more than it should is when you're having a conversation and then they say like, you know, oh, that's just my personal opinion. You know, you're just entitled to your opinion. You believe what you believe, I'll believe what I believe. I hate that. It's terrible. Like, it destroys the You can't talk about anything if you're not allowed to challenge what the other person thinks. If you're not allowed to say, well, that's wrong. Oh, no, 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 no. That's my personal opinion. I'm allowed to think that. And I think maybe because it's just used too often in matters that really aren't about opinion. There are objective truths, and those truths are singular. No two people who have opposite reviews about it can be right. However, even though these awful phrases are used way too much where they shouldn't be, I've sort of recently had a couple instances where they were perfectly acceptable and really natural. I have two art teachers. They're both very, very strong, devout Catholic women who love their faith and do their art for God. One is very traditional, and she's a sculptor, so she's all about form and form. She loves form. Now, the other one certainly appreciates these things, but she's much younger, and she went to a more liberal school, and so she's a bit more free with her art. Now, I was talking to my first art teacher. She's turns to me and she says, Angela, I'm gonna warn you of one thing, all right? One thing. Stay away from contour drawing. The contour drawing is basically, uh, you don't look at your hand while you draw. You're staring at the thing you're drawing and allowing your mind and your hand to be sort of connected without using your eyes to your hand. My first art teacher thought it was the stupidest thing. It was totally mindless. It didn't have anything to do with the the, you know, the true and the beautiful way of creating art by observing and translating and whatnot, blah, 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 blah. So she was like, Angela, if they try to get you to do it, don't do it. I mean, if you have to do it to get a grade, well, go ahead. But otherwise, just stay away from it. And I was like, oh, oh, well, okay. But then a little bit later, I was with my other art teacher, and she was like, you know what I love to do? I love contour drawing. What? Oh, it's just so free and wonderful, and it comes out looking really cool, and you have this neat form that's sort of a little bit like what you're seeing, but not really. Okay. These are two wonderful, good, good women, and yet they're totally polar opposite in their beliefs on this form of drawing. And this is a case in which it really is totally based on opinion. And that's fine. Something like this may seem a little bit silly, differing on what you like, how you like to draw. But a lot of people could look much deeper into that and say that it's corrupting the minds of the young. You know, I don't know. They're crazy. They would do that. I'm sure. I'm sure there are people who do that. But I think this whole like opinion thing extends much farther than that and into the realm of politics. Politics in America in this day and age is totally polarized. You have the far-right conservative Republicans who are religious and they stand up for life. Then you have the far-left Democrat liberals who want to spread the money around and help poor people and whatever. They should not be that polarized because there are aspects of both party and either parties and I really wish they would just become a little more diverse instead of being so like, oh, this is what we are and this is what we do. Because otherwise it would be much easier to have conversations between the two of them. A lot of the issues that the people who identify themselves with either party have between each other, who fight over so viciously, really are matters of opinion. And there is objective truth about so many things that people have to debate, really, to convince each other because there is one truth and that truth is it and so it's very important to try and help people see the truth. And it's very important for you, who think you have the truth, even if you don't, honestly, if you don't have the truth but you are so certain that you do, you have a responsibility to try and help people see the truth. Even if it's what you think is not the right one. But with politics, the manner to run a country, the manner to raise the next generation, I mean, well, there are aspects, certainly, of both that are objective truth, but so many of the little details really are left to us to collaborate with each other to find the best way. I think this could extend to some really major issues, even things like national health care, Obamacare, 
Sure, we as the conservative people might be just like, oh my gosh, you stupid head, why are you trying to make national health care that's going to take away people's initiative to work, it's going to take away the doctor's initiative to do well, blah, 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 blah. But I'm sure the other side has their reason for promoting it. And those reasons might be perfectly valid. Maybe that they're trying to fix it in a wrong way. Maybe we are, right? But I don't think that's something that's actually an objective truth. And I think that is something that we need to collaborate with both sides to try and fix to find the best option to agree with. But anyway, this is just, just my personal opinion. It's just my personal opinion. So, I mean, if you don't agree with me, you don't agree with me. No! Be angry at me in the comments. It's your right. If you think this is objective truth, you better do it. Do it.